What? What is that? Is that? What was that? What the f- Dogman. Bigfoot. The Rake. All these cryptids we've come to know and fear. <laughs> Go ahead and dive right on in today and make sure to stay to the very end to hear a brand new subscriber encounter of Dogman. You will not want to miss this one. All right, guys. So this first one is actually from TikTok and it's from Small Town Monsters and it's called The Skinwalkers American Werewolves 2. All right. So let's go ahead and give it a watch. Started setting up cameras after we had lights flickering and then scratches here and there, footsteps in the house areas. We've also picked up something on camera, which looks like a, a ghost dog. Wolf dog is what I call it. What? Okay, do y'all see that? What could that be? They call it the ghost wolf? Crazy, right? Dog, wolf dog is what More I call time. it. More time picked up something on camera okay i can kind of see it like bent over now up something on camera which looks like a, a ghost dog wolf dog is what i call it oh wow that is crazy what do you guys think of that do you think that was dog man a werewolf a ghost wolf let me know in the comments below. So this one right here uh, is by Spaced and Spooked on TikTok. And it says, I hit a werewolf with my car on February 14th. So this is actually really crazy. So let's go ahead and watch it. I wonder if this really happened. So these I have not watched. So these are pure reactions. So yeah, let's go ahead. Happen. Look at these scratch marks on my tank. Look at these. Those are claws. Going down like that on the hood like of my Like little car. claws. And you can little hear ones. you hear the noise it's making. Those are deep grooves. Those are grooves in the car, but they're claw marks. And then it's here. There's genuine werewolf head. I'm gonna laugh. You can call me crazy. I'm telling you what I saw. I. It wasn't gigantic, but it okay. was double the size of a Doberman Pinscher and, and, and a canid. It was a wolf. It was a freaking, a big old stacking wolf. As John Witherspoon would say. But look at that fur. I'm trying to tell y'all what I hit. And I hit it. I would like to know. And it just went in the car, but it tried to like hold on to the car against. You can see right here where the, where the impact is. I wonder if he got that fur tested. I wonder if it was like actually a wolf that he hit or it was, you know, a, a dog man or a werewolf. I don't know. It's crazy. You'll see where it tried to like go out of the car. Mm. Real talk. I mean, if it tried to grab the car, that's pretty strange, right? I mean, that is strange. I wonder if he did get that tested. Does anybody know anything about this? I'll try to find it out. Um, but what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below. So, another Dogman thing. This is actually really cool. I have never, ever seen this before. 1973 Dogman pictured, snapped by students camping, and it's by the Truth Blog 8484. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch this. This was the photo from 1973 of what the students caught in the area that was camping in the LBL. Yes, Kentucky. You got that right. And see, this is even crazy because people are looking for a lot of this footage to be super clear and all this. But anyways, the story behind it, this thing was howling while I was out there camping. They went to investigate. They was met with this thing in the breast. One of them, fortunately, was able to snap a pick, and they all ran off while this thing was howling. And they were terrified. Crap. Remember, keep God first and check out this close-up of this thing. Oh, my God. This was the photo from 1973. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that's a dog man? Let me know in the comments below. This one right here on TikTok is by Bigfoot Anon. And it's called Dog Man of Pike County. It says werewolf or demon dog. Damn. He was, he was right, right there. there. That's right. He was close. Wow. Whoa. Damn. He was, he was right, right there. there. What? He was close. Definitely had fear in your heart. Absolutely. What in the hell? Oh, hell no to that. He was right there. That's right. He was close. 
What in the... Oh, hell no. Uh Uh-uh. No, no, no. Do y'all think that... I don't care. Even if that was a bear, hell no to that. That is way too close for comfort. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Do you think that was a bear, a werewolf, a dog man, a demon dog? Let me know in the comments below. This is another one. I can't believe how many dog men I have actually found in this episode. So, yay! I know there's going to be a couple other things in there that's not dog man related so please don't get mad at me so it says dog man stalking campers and it's by of course nightmare fuel so let's go ahead and give it a watch what it's hiding behind a tree i got it zoomed in How can you even tell what that is? That could be somebody in a hoodie for all we know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Have I seen this one before? I can't remember if I've actually seen this one before. Okay, now I do kind of see the ears. But that could be the foil, the foliage or whatever. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think that's a dog man? Okay, guys. So, this one is actually a story um, I started listening to. I didn't listen to the end. It's actually, again, by the Truth Blog 8484 on TikTok. It says, the best dog man evidence comp- compilation. But we're only going to listen to a couple of them, okay? Or just one of them. I was stationed on Fort Hood, all right? This was about 16 and a half years ago. This joker was 12 feet tall. Now, I'm an X-50 cow gunner. Understand that. I was mounted on an LMTV. And you know how that sunroof is in your vehicle? Like that there? That's how I was mounted. We was pulling late night fire watch. And so, you know, we usually hear the cows and stuff walking around. And, you know, around grazing and stuff. You know, about Texas Longhorns, you know, when you're in the field training, you liable to run across wild dogs, you know, stray dogs on the base. You, you liable to run across all types of crap. Cows running around, you know what I mean? But my battle buddy was asleep in the driver's seat, all right? My other battle buddy was over here on his walkman or whatever he was doing. And um, got they gone. I nod him. I said, yo, yo, I, you know what I'm saying? Look, 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 you know? And so... He looked through the thermal because I was already seeing the shadow. And when I seen this thing, man, stand up beside the tree, our guesstimation was 12 feet. Now, I'm going to tell you, we alerted our Sarge. When we alerted my Sarge, it was time to go. Water buffaloes packed up, LMTVs, Humvees, tents came down, everything. Let's go. Back to the base, back to the motor pool. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, I tell you, this stuff is real. This stuff is going on. I saw it said, hey, don't go around the base talking about this crap because you end up on the fifth floor. You end up on that fifth floor. Now, this is actually the continuation of the rake story that I uh, showed you last time. I did not realize that there was more to this. I just kind of skimmed it over, I guess. And that was my bad. So um, I'm going to give you the second part right now. Okay, so here we go. This is actually from ja- Jamie at Texas Ghost Hunters here on TikTok as well. And it was the um, still video, about Richard's encounter. It doesn't see me. I'm, I'm, and it's like 35 feet away. And it, it, it's kind of, Oh. It came out of those weeds. You know? Yeah, baby Jesus. Father God, I just want to listen to Rick up to you right now. But I don't know why. He's been tormented like this, Lord. We know you know. And, Lord, you've been speaking to him in visions and dreams concerning the things that have it's coming closer. Is he praying? I can't tell. Lord, you are his rear guard and nothing's going to call me when you lay down at night. 
Oh my God! There it is, Mike. It came back. Oh my gosh! This thing is looking weird. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What the heck? It, it knows what? something's going on, man. This thing is. Oh my gosh! Oh. He's speaking in tongues back there, man. Oh, when he spoke in tongues, it backed the heck away. I don't know what happened. We got disconnected. Bye. <sighs> Guys. It's going, it went back. It went back. It went back. And wow, that is creepy. So that dude on the phone, he was praying and he started speaking in tongues. And then when he started speaking in tongues, that thing started backing away. Gosh, you think that was like a demonic? That is crazy. Or do you think it was just a hoax? I don't know. People go to extremes, but I just don't want to say that that was just a hoax because that was weird right there. That just goes to show you the power of prayer. Okay. This one right here is by Beastly Pumpkin. And uh, it's, I don't know what it is actually, but let's go ahead and give it a watch. Sorry if you hear that in the background. Um, okay, let's go ahead and give it a watch. <laughs> Their dog is barking too in the background. <laughs> What? What is that? Is that? What was that? What the f was that? Bro, what was that? Ew. <gasps> ew. Why does it look like an owl, though? Like, or like, ew. Hold on. Okay. Oh, it peaked. Oh, it peaked. Oh, it is peaked that? around the corner. That is so creepy. What the f was that? That is so creepy. Oh, gosh. That is so creepy. What do y'all think that was? You think that was a ghost or a demon? Let me know in the comments below. Or do you think it was just hoaxed? Let me know. Okay, so this one right here I thought was really interesting. Um, it says that they have... A Bigfoot messing with the trail cam, but to me, now this is one I actually watched all the way through. To me, it kind of reminds me of like that Glimmer Man that y'all described to me and stuff. So it's, and it says Bigfoot caught messing with the trail cam. So let's go ahead. I'm going to let you watch the video and let me know what you think. Yeah. See, that's it right there. See it? It went through like. S something, something went through so fast. Something went through, not just here, but all the way back to there. See it? Right on the other side of the tree. See it there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, four seconds. Not really. Four seconds after? It was a, it was a, it was a Then only, Four seconds later. Now look, watch this now. Then four seconds later, it's gone. Now look, look that's it. See, that's it right there. See it? It went through. So he's saying like this blur right here? Is like maybe it could have been like cloaked and or stealthed and went through and like made that blur because it was going so fast. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think it was just a camera glitch? Do you think it was like the Glimmer Man kind of thing? Or do you think it was a Bigfoot doing that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think. So, number one is actually a story from a subscriber named Cody. And he is of native and Norse descent. He lives in northeastern Oregon. He said this what happened when he was like 9 or 10 years old. And it says, My grandma would always take me camping during the summer. So I spent most of my childhood in the forest by myself. Encounter 1. On this day, I remember running through the woods playing with sticks as the usual. As I ran into a small meadow, I heard a chuffing sound. Turned, I saw her, and I say her because I could tell she was female. She was standing on the edge of the meadow looking at me. So I walked towards her, being the fearless, feral child I was. She dropped on all fours and then hopped off into the tree, never taking her eyes off me. Going back to the camp, I asked my native grandmother about what I'd seen. 
She called her one of the wolf people and to leave them alone. And that was actually one of the females which are more calmer and less aggressive than the male ones. Encounter number two. It was actually the same week I woke up to use the bathroom in early morning. Walking out of the camper and taking a few steps into the brush just in case there was a passerby. So as he was standing there, he actually felt and heard something behind him. It says, I turned around and there she was, right there, feet from me, standing on her hind legs. And as she reached out to touch me, I heard my grandma say, don't move. So the she-wolf actually touched his hair and then dropped back to all fours and slowly walked off watching them both. The rest of that summer, I could feel she was never far away and always watching, but I never did see her again. And he actually sends a great picture of what it would have looked like. It says, thank you so much for listening. I've included the closest picture I could find what she looks like. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Also very terrifying, but I'm glad that you were safe and it just seemed a little bit curious you know that's that's crazy but thank you so much cody for sharing your story with us what do you think about cody's story let me know in the comments below well everyone what did you think about those creepy cryptids and dogmen and werewolves let me know in the comments below as always I want to give a shout out to my members of the Wolf Pack. Thank you so much for all that you do. And if you would like to join, it's only $2.99 a month. Okay, it's not that much. Uh, I post little personal vlogs sometimes. Just different little things once a week. Only for members. And you get little badges, little membership things. Like, you know, only you can use. And everyone, thank you so much for dropping by. I will see you in the next. Bye.